How good is your love? How good is your love for me? How good is your love? How good is your love for me? Hi everyone, I am back with a second behind the scenes of what my second single is going to be all about. As you have seen from the title, it is going to be entitled Psalm 34 and I'm so excited and so grateful to be able to share this song with each and every one of you. I am so happy um, that I get to share all the beautiful, talented people who have been involved in this music and in this song as well. I'm so grateful for them. Shout out to all of you who have been a part of this journey and part of this new single. Um, so I just wanted to take some time today to share with you a little bit about um, what the song is about and also um, a little bit of behind the scenes of um, how this um, song came about, what are the verses that inspired it, all those things that made the song happen. So once again, just like my first single, Live For Him, I hope you guys have checked that out. Um, I did write that many, many years ago and recreated it a little bit with um, my producer currently and um, we did the same for Psalm 34 as well. I wrote it many, many years ago and uh, I want to share a little bit about the story behind it today. So Psalm 34 is um, my expression of something that I battled with personally in my life. It was based on the anxiety and a lot of nerves and um, you know a lot of um, weights on my heart that I was going through before um, of course we go through it today as well right having worries and cares in our hearts and things like that but I think um, it really helped me with the fact that I could channel these emotions into song right and into my music and be able to channel my anxiety into something that completely made it disappear and that was my worship and my praise to who my god is to me yeah and so i did a little bit of journaling and so i'm going to share with you guys what the song is a little bit um what is it about so i wrote the entire psalm 34 song in um the msg from the msg version and um, it is called a david psalm when he outwitted abimelech and got away yeah so um you know like I mentioned before, Psalm 34 is really my response to who God is to me, right? And also my response of what I've been through and also the fact that I'm trusting God every day to be set free, right? And to break free from that bondage over my life. Yeah, and so um, it is really my praise to God and for me to show you whether or not you are a believer, right? Um, that this God is so real and this God is so true and um, I'm re I really want to take the time in this song to let you know who he is and how loving and how um, how exciting a journey with God is yeah and that is really um, the music in this song for Psalm 34 it completely encapsulates the joy that I feel and I receive on a daily um, being on a journey with God lah. yeah so um, you know it was um, live for him like I mentioned was the beginning of my journey right it was my decision to follow Jesus so I'm really just taking you through different walks and different points in my life right now um, live for him was really me just saying yes um, you know I, I want to follow you Jesus you know and me saying that did, didn't um, didn't assure me or didn't grant me an easy access you see it didn't grant me a way out of life but in fact it granted me peace and a hope right that I wouldn't have to do life on my own that I wouldn't ever have to go through the challenges of the battles all on my own yeah and um, so you know um, I've always had to lean on God for everything um, whether is it my anxieties whether is it um, you know being so caught up in everything that we go through every day but you know your anxieties and your cares um, sometimes feel so 
so much heavier and so much more and they feel like they outweigh the good and outweigh um, what God says but really it doesn't and it's really our minds like playing tricks with us lah. yeah and so I really feel um, so inclined to to persuade and to convince you watching this right that um, God loves you I'm not just saying that because it is something that everybody says but because that is true and it's the truth no matter what you are going through no matter what challenge no matter what um, distraction no matter what addiction that you are going through that you're trying to break out of whether is it anxiety or whether is it an addiction that you feel you cannot get out of you know I really believe that God wants to pull you out of this space if this space that you're in is not something that you feel you are called for if it is something that you feel you need an out and you need an escape from then i really believe that god will bring you out of it i believe my songs and i hope my songs will reflect more of it as not a story yeah but as a testimony yeah of who god is to me and how i have overcome different areas of my life and are also um slowly overcoming more and more areas you know in your everyday life and um yeah so this song is really a testimony um that anxiety has no hold over me you know and that i can praise and rejoice and live so freely right with the peace that god has given me i think one verse that i can bring up right now right is um philippians 4 in the msg uh verse 6 to 8 the title of this whole passage is called pray about everything and i really um believe in that you know um it is really true when they say you know in everything that you do pray um with prayer and supplication yeah you know and like surrender all things to god is really really um helpful it's so it's such a comfort to know that at any point of time you can just tune in and speak to god it says don't fret or worry instead of worrying pray let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers letting god know your concerns before you know it a sense of god's wholeness everything coming together for good will come and settle you down it's wonderful what happens when christ displaces worry at the center of your life summing it up friends i'll say you do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true noble reputable authentic compelling gracious the best not the worst the beautiful not the ugly things to praise not things to curse and that is so precious that's so beautiful you know i love it when he says you know um do not fret or worry instead of worrying pray let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers that is so beautiful in everything that we go through you know pray and i feel you know this song not only is it my testimony but it is also like i mentioned before a prayer a prayer for me that um i i can continuously praise god in that manner and in that posture of joyous worship and also believe and continue to believe for myself and the people around me that anxiety is something that you do not need to go through alone and that you do not deserve to go through and that is not something that god has promised us or god has put a call of our lives to go through you know and i really believe that um you know just us being in that position and in that posture of worship and of joy you know which i keep repeating but it really encapsulates the song that it's about to release um i really hope that that is what you feel and that is what you receive from the song as well yeah and um yeah so you know um it is truly an honor to be able to surrender our daily um our daily cares and our daily worries to god every day and um if i could just begin to read psalm 34 it says i bless god every chance i get my lungs expand with his praise and i just love that because that is exactly how we felt by the way when we were recording for this song um me and my um i have a featured artist on this track and you guys will know a little bit more about that featured artist but um yeah you know i live and breathe god if things aren't going well hear this and be happy you'll find out that you'll hear this in one part of the song i live and breathe god join me in spreading the news together let's get the word out you know and that's really my intentions for this song like share it you know share 
the music, share the joy that is going to be reflected out of the song, I hope. And um, join me in spreading the news, the good news. Amen. Um, God met me more than halfway. He freed me from my anxious fears. And that is, that means so much to me. Um, it really recites with me so deeply that yes, I truly feel that even till today, right, as I feel anxious about the things that are going to happen um, or the plans that God has for me and um, the visions that even I have, you know, um, God always meets me more than halfway. Yeah, and he really, really um, frees me from all my anxieties. And I'm so grateful, you know, when the time comes for something to happen, something to come to pass, he's always with me. And I can always count on him and trust that he will be there always 24-7. Yeah, and the next verse says, look at him, give him your warmest smiles, never hide your feelings from him. And, you know, just leading from that, right, I feel like I'm so grateful that I never experienced a part of my life, a point in my life where, um... I felt like I didn't need God, you know? I always need a God. In everything that I do, it was my go-to. It was my, I need you God. I need you God more than ever, you know? Like, it's either I need you God or I need you so badly God, you know? It was never, uh, you know what? I can do this on my own, by my own efforts and things like that because, you know, they're yeah maybe we have the talents and the gifts and right amount of efforts to gain what we need to gain but, you know, truly do you have a stability and do you have a hundred percent assurance that whatever you do out of your own works is going to work out we don't we'll never know it's always a hit or miss right um yeah and you know i i oh i always needed god i always wanted more you know i always wanted more of god i always wanted more of his word and so you know really when this song drops right my intentions are really um for everyone to experience God, experience the joy, experience the comfort, um, you know, and really just take in take in these um, these qualities of strength and joy and hope, right, and receive it right as your strength, yeah, to overcome any challenge that you need to overcome any obstacle to any to overcome any addiction, you know, to see all of God's great gifts right as your strength, yeah, that you do not need to to search for joy and search for hope and search for peace and then use that as your strength but use all these gifts that god has already given us so freely right and take it right and just use it as your strength yeah that you know it's so precious that all these gifts are already so freely given to you plus we even get the strength and the power from god everything everything is from god you know and it's it's such a blessing to be on the receiving end la. Yeah, and so, you know, from there, I really feel um, the need and the want to bless as God has overflowed and poured in me this tremendous, tremendous revelation, right? I just really hope that me explaining the heart behind the song and also you listening to it, everything will feel more in line and closer to your heart as well. Um, yeah, and you know, um, that is the priority. Yeah, that is a priority for everyone to really feel their own revelation, to really feel their own connection to the song and to just feel um, your own relationship with God first and foremost. For everyone to want to serve God is, is a huge blessing and I hope that when you also listen to the song, you would want more just like how I did. You will want more, you will want to find out more, you will want to lean in more, press in more, you will want to serve God more, you want to serve people more, you know, and just love, love on people, every kind of person, every beautiful soul around you, yeah. And so, um, um, you know, you would, you would not only bless others, but you would want to receive from God so that God can be a blessing to you, yeah. And, um, you know, I, I really pray that whatever it is your outlet is, whether it is speaking to a friend, whether it is praise and worship or, you know, listening to your favorite worship tunes, right, that this will serve as an outlet for you as well, for you to, to, to speak to God and to praise God and to thank Him for all that He has done in our lives. And yeah, if I can continue reading on in Psalm 34, right, it says, When I was desperate, I called out and God got me out of a tight spot. God's angel set up a circle of protection around us while we pray. How beautiful is that? Open your mouth and taste. Open your eyes and see how good God is. Blessed are you who run to Him. 
Worship God if you want the best. Worship open doors to all his goodness. Young lions and the prowl get hungry, but God seekers are full of God. Come children, listen closely. I'll give you a lesson in God worship. Who out there has a lust for life? Can't wait each day to come upon beauty? Guard your tongue from profanity and no more lying through your teeth. Turn your back against sin. Do something good. Embrace peace. Don't let it get away. I'll say that again. Embrace peace. Don't let it get away. God keeps an eye on his friends. His ears pick up every moan and groan. God won't put up with his rebels. He'll cull them for the pack. Is anyone crying for help? God is listening, ready to rescue you. If your heart is broken, you'll find God right there. If you're kicked in the gut, he'll help you catch your breath. Disciples so often get in trouble. Still, God is there every time. Not sometimes, but every time. He's your bodyguard, shielding every bone. Not even a finger gets broken. The wicked commit slow suicide. They waste their lives hating the good. God pays for each slave's freedom. No one who runs to him loses out. No one who runs to him loses out. If having a relationship with God is something that you are questioning because you don't know if it's going to take too much of your time or you don't know if this is something that's even for you. Is this even um, a God that you want to be, be friends with or even have a relationship with or even tell him all your deepest, darkest secrets? Try it. You know why? Because it says here right in scripture, everyone who runs to God does not lose out. Amen. And so I just wanted to end this off by saying, you know, I just pray that you are so overwhelmed with joy. I pray that you experience God firsthand from this song, you know, that this whole process for me was so, so, so precious. It has really been um, all Jesus, all glory to God, you know, totally just recording this video, recording the music in this room and, um, working together with all the amazing people that I have been able to work with and so many more as the tracks are being slowly released. Um, I really feel like I'm living a dream, you know, and I'm so grateful for where God has placed me in my life with all the people around me and also where God is bringing me as well. And I'm so happy to be able to share it with you guys who are actually taking the time to watch this. It means so much to me. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been restful. I've been, um, learning so much more about myself and about how to make the process better and better every time I release a track, a new track, and how to, um, you know, just better manage, um, my spiritual and mental and emotional life. As many of you know, I'm also a full-time vocal coach and you know, you have your many responsibilities and then you also have, you know, um, late nights working on music. Um, it's, it's, it's been amazing, you know, and I'm so grateful to do what I'm able to do. And I'm so grateful to have the time to sit down and really just share with you guys the heart behind the song as well. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I pray that you guys just continue to love God's presence. Um, you know, this, this love that God has, that God can give us, that is just beyond human. And it's um, nothing that we can ever grasp from someone who is as tangible and as um, temporal as us humans, right? Yeah, and I really hope that, you know, you are so blessed and so touched by this next track. Thank you so much for allowing me to share with you the heart of this song, truly for you to receive the gifts, the free gifts of God, for, you, for it to be your strength, you know? And, um, you know, if there's one verse that I completely love and it's a little sneak peek to the song is verse 8. Open your mouth and taste. Open your eyes and see how good God is. Blessed are you who run to him. I hope you guys enjoy the song that it's about to release. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching this. Let me know what you think about it and let me know how it impacted you and what you received from the song. See you guys. Feel alone. Listen close.